What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. You know, one of the things I'm realizing, and it doesn't just uh, extend to video games, and movies, and TV shows, I think it's just our society. There's very little good faith shown or given. I, with so much pattern recognition, you know, we see the trailers and uh, you see the same old beats. You go, ah, I know what this is. And of course, that's super prevalent in uh, the video game industry where it's just, oh my God toxic relationship here how many times do we have to buy a broken game or pre-order blah 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 remember no more pre-orders that all leads to ubisoft which has used up all of its goodwill all of its goodwill and all of the best interpretations first by stealing uh well a bunch of different things but one of the main things this is in the, the bad faith area uh they stole the back flag from a reenactment group acknowledged it and then just went right on they <laughs> said that you could get uh yasuke's sword and it was in fact zoro's sword from one piece as well as uh dolls that uh, you could just buy on amazon that they said were authentic japanese culture and that brings us to this one ubisoft trash after assassin's creed shadows debuts new collector's uh collectible featuring yasuke and Naue alongside what appears to be a destroyed Tory gate and uh so this is one of those things where probably an overreaction probably not the given intention clearly and examples of their other gates than the ones we're going to cite but the reason you got to show it and the reason it has some legitimacy is this just goes to show you the frame of mind the mood that your entire audience or base that you would be marketing to buy your game is in i.e they do not want this they're not having it so what's the big hubbub about having them on a, a destroyed gate like this well uh i mean depending on who you ask and this is a, the the first one that started off is a japanese person uh but uh we see caught the attention of an ex-user here blasting ubisoft for, and this starts a chain of events of course uh speculating that now is perched on a one-legged uh Tori Gate said, please spread the here. Also, he says, please spread the word. Assassin's Creed Shadows uh, figures from Ubisoft, a famous Japanese hate and criminal company, <laughs> a figurine of a destroyed Tori Gate has been released, which is believed to be based on the one leg Tori Gate that was destroyed in the Nagasaki atomic bombing. I have never seen a one leg Tori other than one destroyed by the American bomb in Nagasaki. And so this is the one, I guess. Uh, after we did what we did and uh <laughs> debates on that aside yeah that was left as a monument and they are now this user and then others are assuming assuming that that is what the given intention was you can see razor fist uh by the way hail to him he's got his ghost of the badlands now they can get on amazon so if you want a great comic with cowboys check that out uh, iron age but uh, here's raised fist uh, saying ubisoft including an artifact from a nuclear detonation a one-sided arch uh and what promises to be the biggest bomb of the year god is a stand-up comedian I honestly this is probably ai marketing that they just told him hey why don't you do this and then they did it not thinking about the actual results and or this is just one of those devs that just didn't think any would it be cool if they were on a destroyed gate and just didn't think about the uh connotations uh see ubisoft just digging themselves deeper into the shitter because remember they've already released like a four-page statement acknowledging to the japanese people that they have been a little loose in their interpretations of culture and architecture and historical accuracy where at first we we're like oh yeah totally historical accuracy everything's based in historical fact to like well we're maybe going beyond the scope of established truth. And so it's, yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, very dark here, of course. And Ubisoft has spent half a billion dollars on game budgets before. So they either hired dollar store historians. Yes, funny you mentioned that. Horiyama and uh, Thomas Lockley were dollar store historians that have all been exposed. Turns out all of their consultants were exposed for one reason or another. Uh, or intentionally disrespecting Japan. There's no shot this many mistakes have been made. Yeah, and I showed you some of the earlier ones. There are more, but this, you know, can't make it a 10 minute. I mean, you can, but I'm not going to make it a 10 minute video showing all their mistakes. Ubisoft used an atomic bomb relic for its marketing campaign. This is what DEI money buys. A kind of die money. Yeah. Uh, Ubisoft reviving World War II bombings on Japan. Ubisoft needs to go bankrupt. Now, these are people's reactions. Your Sabi. The consultants they hired were too busy focusing on transgenerational uh, transgenerational relationships yes uh and base things off of 
historical vandal. The comments are interesting, and this was sad to learn this way. 3,000 people working on Assassin's Creed Shadows, and this is what they have to offer. This is the best 3,000 people can do. Maybe fire the bloat, get some actual historians, do better. You need to do better, Senator. Uh, now, to be fair, I, this is the last one we'll talk on the negative side. Ubisoft says they studied Japan when they released Shadows, but I think it's more accurate to say they studied material that would insult Japan. Disappointing. Now, here's the reason. Here is another one saying that, look, Broken Tories do. This one is in Mount Meeson. Uh, they do exist. And you can see here, we'll just end on this because this is sort of where I end up on it. Even if it is in, in unintentional, the one leg Tori is a reminder of the devastation caused by the Nagasaki atomic bomb. So the use of this design was undesirable and should have been avoided if possible. If that's the argument, I agree. Well, that's my argument because clearly it exists, but because it does have those connotations with that one left standing, you could have just made it a full on gate. It would have been more structurally sound. And so, yeah, at the very best, it is tone deaf, extremely tone. At the very worst, they intentionally did it to evoke all the controversies that it's now invoking. You let me know what you think, actually. I'm very curious to think. I, like I said, you know where I end up on it. Where do you end up on this? Either way, I'm not buying this. It's going to be the first one I'm not buying. So take that for what you will. Am I racist and just hate black people because of Yasuke? No. I'm tired of the things I love being perverted for other people's ideology. And then we call it out. I get called all the fun things that mean anything that don't mean anything anymore. Rather. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think of all this. Sure. Like share and sub. If you have done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that. Thank you. Well,